Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah. So we're starting a new series today called My Secret Pets Forbidden Romance. As you can see by the various male characters with uh, cat ears, this is going to be a wild ride. Apparently, you can also play this game in Japanese, which I'm keen to do sometime. Alright, I'm taking Japanese, but I definitely can't read that. I know that says Peto. I know this one... Mmm, I need to brush up my Japanese. Alright, it happened on an ordinary Sunday. The breakup came from out of nowhere. It was truly sudden, not a single sign or forewarning. What do you mean? I mean exactly what I said. On my way home from working my job as a tutor, my boyfriend, Rito, had just asked to talk to me. Since we hadn't seen each other in a while, I was excited, sure it was going to be about a date. You mean, we just need some time apart. The words that came from Rito's mouth were words I could never imagined. But I don't. Why? Suddenly, everything went black. We've been so happy up until a few moments ago. I don't understand. Was it something I did? Why would he say he wants to be a part all of a sudden? Rado and I had just started going out about half a year ago. He was two years above me in school. Our mutual friend Yuka had introduced us. He could be mean and a bully sometimes, but inside he was really sweet. I don't believe it. Whenever we are, were together, I felt so happy. I even wish that we could be together forever. And yet... If it's something wrong with me, just tell me, okay? I can fix it. I'm gonna tell you right now. If someone's breaking up with you, never offer these kind of things. This isn't about fixing something. Then what is it about? I'm just so emo. I can't. You're not. I can't do this. I just need some space. Because that's a viable explanation. Does this mean we're breaking up? I never said anything about breaking up, I just want some time apart. Because that's not... It's not different things or anything. That's not fair. Whether you think it's fair or not, I've already made up my mind. You're so selfish. Anyway, that's all I wanted to tell you. What? We're not finished talking about this. I am. Wait, Rado! Without looking back, Rado walked off. I collapsed at a ground shock, but I didn't cry. It all happened so suddenly, I still couldn't believe it was real. It seemed more like a bad dream. What am I supposed to do now? The words slipped from my mouth like a sigh, but I received no answer to my question. I don't remember how I made it home after that. When I came to my senses, I was already inside my room. After I walked inside like usual and shut the door, all of the strength left my body. What's going on with this painting over here? It's like... It's like only the bottom is touching the wall, but the top is hanging off. Okay, moving on. Huh? Why am I crying now? Maybe while I was walking, wake, walking, the reality had finally set in. Why did this happen? Large teardrops flowed one after the other, and my eyes and dripped onto the floor. As I lied there near the door, I heard the sound of claws clacking on the floor coming my way. Georgie. Georgie was my pet golden retriever. He peered worriedly into my face and licked my salty, steer-tained cheeks. Tear-stained cheeks. With a loud snore, Georgie cuddled up beside me. I'm sorry, were you worried about me? That's right. At times like these, what always comforted me were my pets. My parents owned a pet shop. Whenever they got cute new animals, I'd snatch them up for myself before I went on sale. Because of that, before I'd realized that I had a grand total of five pets, including Georgie. Thanks, Georgie. Even without being able to speak, they're always here for me. Okay, why do you even need a boyfriend if you have five pets? Let's, let's be honest here. My dear beloved pets. My dear friends who understood me better than anyone in the world. If only you guys could talk at times like these, I'd be cheered up in no time. Georgie stared at me and tilted his head. Oh, they're not going to turn into boys, are they? Please. Please. 
Uh, I feel I feel it coming. I feel something coming. I reached my hand towards the light switch. Hey guys, I'm whole. When I looked around the lighted room, an unbelievable sight was. Oh, it's coming! Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Oh god, it's actually happening. Whoa! What the? Who are you? Four men I've never seen before were sitting in my house. But I have five pets, so there's one of them missing. Welcome home. You're late today. Glad you made it home safe. We we're all worried about you. The strange men were sitting on the sofa, drinking tea like everything was normal. Ah! Uh, burglars! I'm supposed to call the police, right? We're just now 911. My friend just fumbled around my bag for my cell phone in utter panic. Hey, wait just a second. A tall, mature looking man slapped my hands from searching my bag. Yeah, you don't recognize us? What? We've been with you all this time. Figure it out already. Jeez, what a dope. What? One by one, I looked carefully into each man's eyes. I feel like maybe we've met before. No, that's not quite it. It feels like I've known them forever. It's so weird. I feel sort of calm around them somehow. You love awesome black tea, don't you? That's why you named me after it. Are, are you awesome? Awesome was the pot pig I just recently started taking care of. The man in front of me had kind eyes that reminded me of him. Yes, I'm glad you finally realized it. Th then, I'm hungry. Hurry up and make me food. Lufna? Lufna was a Russian blue cat I adopted when I was in high school. The way this man spoke, so cool and offhanded, made me think of the cat. Interesting how all of the pets are male. Took you long enough, bird brain. S sorry. Don't, don't apologize for being called bird brain. Exactly. Don't tell me you don't recognize me, your oldest friend in the mall. R Ramen? Ramen was the pet I'd have the longest, a pink and gray cockatoo. I could see the bird's calm and mature attitude in this man. Correct. I love you, honey. I love the background music, it's just like, so silly. It's, I just love how these games don't take themselves seriously. It just puts a cherry on top. Still haven't recognized me? I'm offended. You're going to make me go sulk in the corner. Liz, Liz, Lizzie? The lop-eared rabbit I'd taken in when I started living on my own. The way the man dejectedly hung his head was like the mopey rabbit. Yeah, finally, you got it. But why? Why are you guys all human? Do things like this really happen? They don't. I just can't believe this is reality. But there is no doubt that the four men's personalities put those of my pets to a T. We became human in order to be with you. To be... with me? Awesome knelt on the ground, took my hand, and planted a kiss on my palm. Awesome. And the one to be with you forever is going to be me. Just then, Lufna swatted Awesome's hand away. Don't just go and touch her like that. Lufna then licked the tips of my fingers. Hey, hey, that tickles. It's going to be me who gets her. Hey, no head starts. I can't just sit here and watch this. Ramen pulled me into his arms and stared deep into my eyes. She's nine. Ramen. It's always the birds. It's always the birds. No way. L Liz left Flash Lily, ripped Ramen away and clung to me in a tight embrace. Sarah is mine. It's destiny that we end up together. No, she's mine. 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 My arms, my legs, my clothes. I was getting tugged at from every angle. I guess it's a competition then, for Sarah's heart. Perfect. I won't back down. I'm not going to lose either. Well, what is going on here? So began my strange life with my pets, who are now four human men. That was a pretty great prologue. Let's read through uh, each of these each of these descriptions. Awesome. A common gentle princely pet pot bellied pig like sullenness. Ramen, a mature and caring big brother type, pink and grey cockatoo, can be egotistical. Rado, the cruel ex-boyfriend who suddenly breaks up with the main character, the sole human character you can fall in love with. Damn. Only animals in this game. Lufna, a capricious, independent, Russian blue, has a tendency to wander off on his own. Lise, Lizzie. I'm just gonna say Lise, because Lizzie sounds like a girl name. 
A spoiled, devious, sloppy haired rabbit who doesn't like to be left alone. Skilled at cooking. Skilled at cooking! But he's a rat. Okay, alright, I'm just not gonna question it. Not gonna question it. But, that was the main story. I just, sorry, that was a prologue. Just wanted to guess a bit of that. I'll be doing this series dabbling in and out while I'm uploading my Seduce Me 2 series and also while I'm working on my review of the Men of Yoshiwara Ogia. Um, if you want to see a specific route of one of these guys in full, let me know. Um, I don't want to do the same fiasco I did with Seduce Me 2 um, the Demon War, where I just got too overwhelmed, and even now I'm not finished with it, so I'm just gonna try to take it slowly this time. So let me know what you want to see. Um, yeah, if you like this kind of content, go ahead and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up, and I really appreciate you watching this. See you in the next one.